NASA's Orbiting Carbon Observatory, or OCO, is set to launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California aboard a four-stage Taurus XL rocket. Both the spacecraft and the launch vehicle were built by Orbital Sciences Corporation. Most of the Taurus vehicle, stages one, two, and three, arrived at Vandenberg Air Force Base back in June 2008. Stage zero arrived November 3rd, followed by the nearly 1,000-pound OCO satellite November 11th. In December, OCO's systems and science instruments were tested and the software was loaded into the Taurus flight computer. The spacecraft was fueled in mid-January 2009 and the Taurus rocket's thermal blanket and avionics subsystem were installed. Stage two of the Taurus was attached to the avionics module January 26th and the two joined with stage one the next day. On January 29th, the rocket's first stage, called Stage Zero, was lifted into position at Launch Complex 576 East. The upper stack, consisting of stages one, two, and three, arrived at the Launch Complex February 3rd. The three by seven foot OCO spacecraft was safely enclosed inside the protective payload fairing and moved to the launch site. With all the hardware elements gathered at the launch complex, technicians attached the payload fairing to the upper stack. Then, on February 18th, the entire assembly was hoisted into place atop stage zero. With these pre-launch milestones complete, the OCO spacecraft and Taurus XL vehicle are ready for launch, beginning a two-year mission to sniff out Earth's atmospheric carbon dioxide.